Um, alright, I'm going to be coaching Medusa. He is the nerd up to the top left. He doesn't look very good, but if you look to the bottom right, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this. Okay, so he's playing against Medusa here, he's playing go. against um, this um, better puck. <laughs> um, he's playing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be coaching Medusa. He is the Pac Man, he is the, the person to the top left, and if you look to the bottom right, that is me. I am the coach. I am Bucket. Alright, so he's playing against Lucina. So Lucina is going um, to space. A good Lucina will space. Like, like a lot. Like the entire game. He, she will be in your face and she'll be swinging her sword at your shield, right? You can't jump against her. You can't. Well, you maybe roll. But hey, there's very slim, very small openings that you need to get through. And they're hard to spot when you first start. But once you kind of get through the Lucina's habits, um, they're pretty easy to get through. And I'm going to point, out, point out those habits. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be that hard. Again, at least it's really hard to get through. <sighs> Alright. That's fine. Okay, so already she, he's, she's already playing aggressive with you. She doesn't want to wait down here while you try to sit here and try to fruit. She wants to see it. So her Okay, so your opponent has a few approach options to get through hydrogen. And that is jump over it. Hit it, hit it with your smash attack. If they smash stick the hydrant, you punch it with the grab or anything when you run under the hydrant. And then you roll past it. So jump over it, hit it, or roll past it. Those are the three ways to get past the hydrant, right? To get to your opponent, to pack mana. So pay attention to what your opponent does. And she just does a short hop over the hydrant and she lands with the forward air into shield. Her out of shield options um, up B. She pushes the shield. Again, she approaches the shield to get look up for that. So you neutral get up and then you hold shield and she caught onto that immediately, which most people will do that immediately. So she, you do neutral get up and then you hold shield so she grabbed you. Next time, neutral get up into spot dodge so she can't grab you if she's at this, this distance. Most people go for grab because most people hold shield. That was a nice angle. Again, same thing. You held shield instead of spot dodging. Uh, you try to be spicy again. We can't. We cannot be impatient with um, getting on the stage with Lucina. She's gonna be baiting and baiting and baiting the entire time. You try and come on the side. She's gonna do smash attack at ledge and then cover your roll. She's gonna do smash attack at roll and then cover your neutral get up. And, and well, she's gonna grab you because she suspects you're gonna hold the shield. She's gonna do a lot of things to try and mix you up and bait you. You cannot be baited by those things. Do that. Again, like last time, she jumped over the, over the hydrant to approach you, and you caught onto it. Looks like. She attacked the time. Landing there. Okay, so after whipping a grab, she does side tilt to attack you. Instead of spot dodging, rolling, or whatever, most people do. Okay. Counters. I want to talk about this. Okay, so if your opponent has a counter, Lucina, Roy, Krom, uh, 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 Lucario, Joker, who else has a, um, a counter? Anyway, your opponent has a counter. You have to mix up your side B recovery. I'm sure you know this, but I'm just going to point it out anyway. You can go low, you can go high. Basically, you don't want to go in a, this like straight diagonal line to the stage corner that, um, through your gallage. Every single time, your opponent will do counter. If, you're, if you have a hitbox, which Pac-Man does have a hitbox in both trampoline and side B, your opponent's going to jump up and do counters. You, you have to look up for it. So you got to go high, go low. I will go for Galk here. Just for, Yeah. Good. Uh, I should do back there. Double jump back there. Okay. It looks like she caught into your double jump here, actually. So you're you you're in disadvantage here, and then to out of out of disadvantage, you did double jump into fair. Uh, and she it looks like she did catch on to that. It looks like she did try and cover that. Well, uh, hydrant. That's good. Again, yeah, be patient. If you had just let her hit the hydrant. Uh, and then like did a jump a full hop over the hydrant and then like punch whatever or land safely then bam you get stage control and everything New okay she just attacked she gets uh need you get up mm -hmm. okay don't okay that's very scary okay so getting off state um the platforms on town and city um this is like the worst spot to be in on a stage right obviously so you either have to um, jump down here grab ledge you have to double jump up here or we do like a fast fall right here right there's not that many options that you can do to get back on stage. Like, your opponent has such a big edge, right, over you. 
and you land safely until you did down decided to down here the hydrant. I don't know why you did that. The hydrant's hurt. She's gonna get blinded by it. Oh, yeah, see, she really wants to hit the hydrant. So it's, she's a bull. And when I make my bull is bulls like to attack red things and your hydrant is red. She's gonna go for the hydrant basically. <laughs> if you caught that dog jump, she's dead. Maybe. If you really get a juggling. It looks like, does she know how to catch the orange? Okay, it looks like your opponent knows how to catch your orange. That's not good. Um, the more Pac-Man knowledge your opponent has, the worse. And she, it looks like she knows how to catch orange. If, if I catch that again, I will point that out to you. Um, basically, if you do orange, though, what most Pac-Man will do, they'll throw orange, and they'll, da they'll dash up here, then the forward air to catch the orange. She didn't air. You can't go up there and catch the, she, You cannot go up there and catch, you catch the orange once it bounces off your shield. I really hope they don't do that in the future. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you out. So, see, um, so grab the ledge. She doubles up here. They're gonna be aggressive. Again, approach the shield. You can be grabbing her. Again, you got it. Oh, you got lucky here. But you gotta be mixing those side views up. So you didn't shoot Nuchi Gip and shield. So you, you can be grabbing her too. Like she's grabbing you. Why we? Why we give her so much room to work with? Okay, good. I want. Okay. <clears throat> You have a huge event of state, you shield on stage. This is like the performance part, right? Okay, so she doesn't want to see her. So she wants to get away from you. Okay, so she, free, she um, is no longer jumping over the hydrant. She is instead just attacking it safely, which is not good for you because you kept punishing it safely. So, like, if your opponent does a smash attack instead, you just punish the smash attack. But she's not. She's using safe moves and on the hydrant, so you can't punish it. But that's good for you because that, that way you know that. Your opponent's preferring way to get past the hydrant. That's good. Again, she pushes shield again. She's, she is shielding a lot. You, you can be grabbing a lot more. I like it. Aww. So she did Nushi Gip into shield, double jump when she jumps her, and then she rolled into shield. She likes to shield a lot. Nothing there. And yeah, so the, your opponent has good pac knowledge. She knows how to um, take out the third jump from the Chaplin. She knows how to counter the side view to grab the ledge. She knows how to catch a fruit. So there are ways to play around this. It's just not as easy as someone who doesn't know the matchup. That's really good. I would go for Bell. I think Apple might kill, actually. <laughs> yeah, got him. <laughs> okay, so she, she, she like a V to contest you as you're landing with the Hydrant. To prevent that, either land of dare, or you so, so on your way down, you hit her, or you the air dodge, or you double jump away, whatever. Mm -hmm. okay, you did this last time, like I like I said, like a minute ago. You're all, she was hitting you on disadvantage on the right side, and then you double jump away, and you land a fair. You double jump with fair. Sorry, um, good players. Well, she it looks like she did kind of catch on to it, just not fast enough. But she she looks like she's catching on to that little habit of yours. It's not good. You should have defaced both the fair again. You, that was true. You messed it up. Because she, she loves to attack the hydrant. Ah, uh, you should get hit there. Okay, okay, so, see, so double jumped here, and she was almost guaranteed to land at the area on top of you. Almost guaranteed. You, you hold shield, you put. Okay, so, what most Melusinas and Sorties do is they'll land with an aerial, or it was spammers in general, will land with the aerial, so for some reason she did double jump, and she almost has to land with a, a, a aerial, so she does a niche air, and then she does side tilt. So, you, you shield both of those, and you punish your side tilt. So, you bam, she, you see the double jumps, and then she lands on top of you, and then you punish the side tilt. Because you know she's going to do side tilt after landing there. We slip spray past her, that's awesome. So she's looking for the kills right now. So Lucina kills through a bad landing option, such as landing on top of her after air dodging. She kills you after a F smash read and neutral B to break your shield. Those are the her like what I've seen her ways to kill. And oh, and ledge guard guarding. Sorry, let's yeah, ledge guarding. So right now you're ledge trapping. So she's gonna go for an F smash or let's jump. I wasn't expecting that. Not gonna lie. Okay, so you put out let's jumps. Um, so you have to be ready for that if your opponent's sitting here on the ledge, like this. You gotta be ready for it. Um, or you can stall the hydrant. Actually, what you, sh you should have done here. I'm sorry, my bad. Is you should have stalled the hydrant. 
So you should have the hydrant down, and then you do chapel lane. And then she would have been in a bad position. Not, yeah, not you. Okay, so that's about it for game one. Let's go to game number two. I'm going to get game number two here, and the stage is going to be... Alright, so we got Kalos. Um, Lucina doesn't have a wall jump. I think, and you do. So, um, on that standard, um, again, you're the one position you don't want to be on as a platforms, because if you're on a platforms, you don't have that many options to get down back on the center stage. You have a really bad spot, so don't go on the platforms, ever. You don't want to push yourself there. Unless you're like, um, trying to get back on stage safely, and land safely, then yeah, retreat to the platform. There's, there are ways to get past it, but it's just really hard. Um, other than that, I think you got the advantage here. I think you're, I think Pac-1 has the edge over Lucina, um, in the stage. So this is fine. We're starting to neutral the same way. Again, she likes to attack the hydrant, so we can't be impatient with that. Good. We messed up the cheat combo again, though. Okay, don't be impatient. You know, it looks like you're, like, spamming aerials to get out. So like, bam, you're you're in disadvantage in these spam aerials. You, you can double jump away, you can air dodge, you can di. You don't have to land up the aerial. But I I I love I love I love I love I love punishing my opponent who spams. And then, like you know, like they always land up aerials. So like for example, like I'll do up there up air, and then I'll land up an aerial. I do up there up air, then land up an aerial. And then, and I keep I keep punishing for it until I go okay, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Just you know, don't land up the a aerial every single time. See, you you just land up an aerial again there. So don't land an aerial every single time. DI, you can do a del jump, you can air dodge. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to land safely. And especially the especially Pac-Man, you have a hydrant. Hydrant's like the safest landing tool ever. Like okay, it's really good. Okay, she's obviously ready to to counter you. She's gonna counter you. See, but we can make it short, so it's good. I like the air dodge. That was pretty creative. Back guard shield. That was good. So, okay, so instead of I like the hydrant here. <laughs> Again, you can't hold shield because she loves to grab you. Because she knows that you're gonna hold you're gonna hold shield. You got spot dodge. Okay, if you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna uh... okay, I love how you're mixing it up because now she has to like decide. Okay, what is my opponent gonna do with side B? You, you could punish, but we didn't catch. Per Why? Okay, so it's like the second or third time I think that you've just completely given up your state of control, and you just get you just let your opponent get back into advantage state, right? So right now she's in advantage state. You're in hit stun, and she shielded it, and she's a guy more. She's more close. She's closer to center stage. If instead, right here, bam, we win the shield, right? Off stage, and instead we run away. Instead of continuing it, she, we, I almost guarantee she's going to land with an aerial, like if she did, she landed with an aerial, and then you punish her, and then you keep her off stage, and you let's chop her. You run away, and then you just do an obvious orange. And we die for it. Okay. I need to be careful. Kay. Yes. <laughs> you always need to be careful. Side tilt. Just hit it, yeah. Good. Back here. Aww. You love to land with aerials. You need to stop. Again, like I just said earlier, I always punish my opponent. It's like the most common thing I see when my opponent's trying to land is they'll land with an aerial. And if they land with a safe aerial, then they'll do another attack after that. So they'll do, like, um, as a Joker, for example, they'll land with an air, and then they'll do side tilt immediately. And I'll just punish the side tilt. It's super, super, super easy to punish someone who lands an aerial every single time. If you mix it up, and it's like, okay, wait, what the hell is my opponent going to do? Right? You're landing the same way every single time. See, you're very obvious. Okay, I want to see. I just pointed this out earlier too. She landed in air, and you can see the startup. But she, you saw the side tilt coming out. Good. Good. Okay, that was very dangerous because your opponent likes to attack the hydrant. So priming it when your opponent is not with it's kind of close, kind of scary. You hit it first though, so that's good. Yes. Yeah, Okay, we, we okay. We, we should have wall jumped here, cause that way you never, you almost never want to use the third jump. Have to use the third jump at the trampoline, cause your opponent, like your Nahan here, will go down here, air dodge past your second jump, and then hit your third one, and you can't make it back up. So wall jump first, and then use the second jump to get rid of your You almost never want to have to use three jumps, especially against an opponent who knows what they're doing, like this one. So you got lucky here, and we let her get back on stage again. We need to be less chopping her. 
Like, your opponent has been doing uh, uh, options immediately. She doesn't wait to see what your opponent you do to, um, last chapter. She always goes, okay, uh, my opponent's up here. I'm just going to j double jump here. Or I'm going to neutral get up into shield. Or I'm going to roll into shield, right? We can be punching these things. That was the first time I've seen her air dodge to That's land. Yeah. Interesting. Second time or third time she jumped over the hydrogen to approach you. Okay, I like the Galka there. Why on earth do we throw it down? Okay, so she doesn't she doesn't like your rolling. I wouldn't do it next time though. She might catch on to it. Why we do that? Oh! She cons that. Hydrogen, good. Don't land the aerials every single time. She loves it when you need to get up. She's not covering roll at all. Okay, she's catching on to that. You gotta be careful. Man, Let's he's so good at that. I was gonna say I like it, but you shouldn't have directional air dodge. You should have neutral air dodge and then DI. Because if you directional air dodge, it has a lot of lag. You can hit the dodge, yeah. And then land with the aerial. Land with an aerial. Okay, why? Well, she never calls roll. Why are we not rolling? It gets problems who don't shield when they're less chapping. It gets problems who don't cover shield. Uh, um, never, they never call like, jump. They never call shield. You have to be careful when you're doing because then you might be baiting in that option. But you gotta be like, you know, you gotta find those openings. They're there. Especially opponents like never shield when they're less chapping. You just skip attack. We could have punched that if you're a little faster. Maybe grab. You gotta be better at these side beats. I was gonna say, she's gonna back air shield, and sure, back air shield is much better than yours. So I was gonna say, you should not challenge that. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Medusa. Why? Are we doing such a lousy. Thank god. I was gonna say, you better not, you better not land on the aerial, you're gonna die. Not an, ooh, we should land an empty aerial. Okay, you're rolling a lot. I also noticed that you you are rolling quite a bit. I haven't really been pointing those out, but you are rolling quite a bit. And you die for it, looks like you're, you're gonna die. Yeah. So, you're not less chopping your opponent. You're not getting on stage good enough. And you're not. You're Okay, so you're giving up stage control. You're not getting back on stage. You're not less chopping. Um, you keep landing your aerials. And what else was there? Oh, your side B. Your side B needs to be way better. Like, way, way better. Um. You kept like trying to regoblish as soon as you got punished that first time by the counter, you should have went you should, like a light bulb when it should have worn up your head. Like, okay, I can't do that diagonal same vanilla grab ledge of side B anymore. I have to mix up I have to go high, I have to go low, I have to do whatever I can to avoid a counter, right? And as soon as that happened, you should have been mixing it up. But you always went like on stage, you always went um like really, really low, I think one time. Like very bad. And you always like missed the ledge too, which isn't is not the easiest thing. I'm not gonna blame you for missing one or two times, but you did miss it a few times. <laughs> you can be better. Um, what else is there? I don't think I, I saw you kill Bell one time. I think your kills were off of ledge guarding and stuff. I can't remember, but yeah, uh, that's your issue. I think stage control, less trapping, and not getting less traps. And your side B can be better, and that's about it. See ya.